Mingilaba. Welcome to this Myanmar grammar lesson. My name's Harriet. Chama name Harriet ba. In today's Myanmar lesson, we're learning how to use the Myanmar be me to express what in English would be phrases like despite, in spite of, although, even though, etc. Of course, the most famous be me that you probably already know is da be me, which is the word for but in Myanmar. Literally, in spite of or despite da, which is that. Anyway, this lesson is divided up into levels that get progressively more challenging. Something for beginners and something for you fancy pants out there. So if the later levels start feeling too ah, feel free to come back and tackle them another time. We're lucky we're learning Burmese and not English because I'd say this particular grammar point is actually a lot more finicky to get right in English and relatively straightforward in Myanmar. So we can keep that comforting thought in mind when our brains start overheating. Okay, so are you ready? Let's get into it. Today we're going to stick with this construction, despite plus verb. So in Myanmar, we put our verb first, followed by be me. For example, let's say we want to say despite having. We'll put the verb to have first, followed by be me. So what's the verb to have in Myanmar? She, right. So now we have she be me, despite having. Can you say that? She be me. Great. Let's try another verb and make sure it still works. What if we wanted to say despite knowing? So we need to know the verb to know in Myanmar. Do you know, no? I know, you know. The, exactly. So we put our verb the first and follow it up with be me and we get the be me despite knowing your turn the be me yes by the way it's also very straightforward to make the negative too so if we want to say despite not knowing something what would we need to put before the verb the yes your instincts are correct we put ma before the verb. So here we have mitibeme, despite not knowing. Mitibeme. Good stuff. And how would we say despite not having? Mishibeme. Absolutely. Despite not having. Mishibeme. Good. Not too crazy, right? Congratulations, you've made it to level two. Practice with noun phrases. Why? Because we'll often have a noun in our sentence too, won't we? For example, we don't just say despite knowing or despite having. We usually need to say despite knowing something or despite having something. So where does that go? Right at the front. So in Myanmar, we've got noun plus verb plus be me. Let's check out an example. Despite having a book. So could you please tell me the Myanmar words for book and have? Sao and she. Thank you very much. Jesu Dembare. So despite having a book is Sao shi be me. Sao shi be me. Great! And how could we finish off a sentence like that? Well, perhaps something like, despite having a book, I don't want to read. Or something equally petulant. Let's try that out in Myanmar. Sao shi be me mapachim bu. Sao shi be me mapachim bu. Awesome, good job. Let's do another one. Despite eating breakfast, I'm hungry now. We all know that feeling. So first we'll need our noun, breakfast, and the verb, to eat. Can you fill those words in? 
if you remembered Manessa and Sa. Brilliant. If not, you have now. So we have Manessa Sa be me. So to finish our sentence, we just need to add the words now and hungry. Want to give it a go? Woo, look at that. Manessa sa be me aku baisare. Even though I had breakfast like an hour ago, I'm hungry again. What's up with that? Let's try it a little faster. Are you ready? Manessa sa be me aku baisare. Sounding good. Okay, last one for level two. Despite liking cake, I don't eat it. So much sugar, watching my weight, you know the story. So, are you ready? We need the noun, the verb, and then despite. Cake, like, be me. Can you add the missing Myanmar parts? Great, so now we have cake, gate mo, like, jai, be me. We just need don't eat to finish it off. Got it? Don't overthink it. Excellent, good work. A little bit faster. You've got it. And you made it to level three. Welcome. In this level, we'll mainly be using the phrases you learnt in this video, 18 Myanmar verb phrases. If you haven't seen that video lesson or would like to refresh your memory and review the phrases before we go on, just click on the link at the top of the screen. Here's our first sentence. Despite being sick, she went to work. Now, you may remember that piare means to have a fever or a high temperature. But in Myanmar, you will also hear people using the verb piare to mean being sick in general. That's what we're going to use for the first part of our sentence here. Thuga piare me, despite being sick. Now we need the verb phrase to go to work. Do you remember that one? Yes, alotuare. So all together we have thuga piare me. Alotuare. Despite being sick, she went to work. Let's speed it up a bit, shall we? Tuga piabe me alotuare. Right, well done. Give this one a go. Despite being sick, she continued working. So the first part is the same as in our last sentence. What was that again? Tuga piabe me. Good. And then we add the verb phrase to continue to work. Got it? Tuga piabe me alo se loti. Very good. Once more. Tuga piabe me alo se loti. You're doing great. Let's check out a curlier one. Despite her fear, she told her boss the truth. Remember the verb to be scared or fearful is jaute. So how would we say despite her fear or despite being scared? Yes, tuga jaupe me. Next we need the word for boss, which is... Aloshe, right. So now we have tuga chaupe me, tu aloshe go. You can see the little dot under the tu called an alchemy. Here it acts as a possessive marker, so we have her boss. And it shortens the pronunciation too from thu to thu, thu aloshe. Cool. Lastly, we need the verb phrase to tell the truth. How's your memory on that one? Ama adaim pyo piare. Ten points if you remember that. Let's say the whole thing. Thuga chaupe me. Thu alo shengo. 
اما دایم پیو پیاره. یوتن. Great. Faster? تو گا چاو پی می تو الو شنگو اما دایم پیو پیاره. Yay! If you need to pause for a cookie and a milkshake before the last two levels, please go ahead. The extra sugar may come in handy for increased brain function. Okay, translation challenges. Here we go. Here you have the Myanmar at the bottom, along with some key word clues at the top. Moyuare means to rain, and Pyozia Gaone means to be fun. The Myanmar sentence reads, Moyuare me. How would you translate this into English? I'll give you a moment. Yes, something along the lines of, despite the rain, we had a great time. Sounds just right. Shall we practice it? Very nice. Next, in Myanmar, we have Thuga machanta abeme ye yore. Our clues are to be rich, chantare, and to be generous, ye yore. Can you figure out what the English sentence might be? If you have something like, despite not being rich, he or she is generous. Bravo! Over to you again. Brilliant. Okay, the last one in this set goes. Now, don't freak out, let's break it down. Your clues are andie, which means danger, and beginyago metwekwau, which means something like to leave for safety, a similar meaning to evacuate. So take a minute to work it out. What does it all mean? All right, one possible translation. Despite the danger, most people did not evacuate. Is that similar to your idea? Let's try saying it all together. Very, very well done. For the final translation challenge, you will match three Myanmar translations to their English counterparts. There are three key verb phrases to look out for, so let's quickly review those. Number one, to have a university education. Dekado pinyayi shide. Number two, to have diabetes. Sicho yoga shide. And number three, to do exercise. Lejin ka lote. So here are your three sentences. I'll give you about 30 seconds to take a look and match them up, English to Myanmar. Don't worry if you don't recognize all the Myanmar words. Just look out for the phrases you do know. All right, how did you go? Number one, despite not having a university education, he has a good job. Let's try the Myanmar. Dekado pinyayi mishibe me tuma alo kaunshide. Well done. Number two, despite having diabetes, she still eats sugary foods. Let's run through the Myanmar. Thuma si cho yoga shi be me, a cho miare sa 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 ne don be. Very good. Oh, and you can spot a handy construction at the end there. Verb plus ne don, which works out to be something like still verbing or still doing a verb in English. 
Actually, that pops up in sentence number three too. Despite exercising every day, she's still overweight. I'm told that the verb wade, to be fat in Myanmar, doesn't sound quite as abrasive and, well, rude as it does in English, just in case you were wondering. All right, level five, here we come. In this level, you can really test your vocabulary and grammar knowledge by constructing our final four sentences. Advanced users only, let's go. We want to say, despite her poor health, she always focuses on helping others. Let's start off with Thuga Jamai, her health. Can you see what might come next? Good, yes. Thuga Jamai Magaumbe me. Despite her health not being good. Now remember, in Myanmar, we need to save our verbs for the very end of the sentence. So if that's the case, what's next? Yes, tichaduruigo, other people. So in the end, we've got duga chamayi magaumbe me tichaduruigo kuni people amie ayon saite. Can you say it? Very nice. Number two. Despite his back injury, he still maintains a positive attitude. The parts you'll need are on the left. I'll give you a moment to unshuffle them. We'll start with Thu Yet, his. Thu Yet Joma Danya. Thu Yet Joma Danya Shibe Me. Despite having a back injury. A gaumien. A gaumien te botago. A positive attitude. And yes, of course, the verb at the very end. Setein tare. Let's run through it all together. Tu ya choma danya shibe me. A gaumien te botago. Setein tare. Nice work. Number three. Despite knowing what they should do, many people choose to do the opposite. Like in our previous sentence, we'll start this one off with the pronoun they. Then what? Balo tende soda. Tibe me. Great. So the first part's complete. Turo palo tene sora tibe me. Despite knowing what they should do. Next. Most people. Amyazu ga. Sanjen lo sampo. To do the opposite. So finally, we must have. Turo palo tene sora tibe me. Woo! Can we hear you give it a go? Sounds great! I can't believe it! We're on the last one. Let's make it a good one. Despite facing difficulties in life, such as studying Myanmar grammar for hours on end, we can still have joy. Or get happiness. I'll give you a moment. We'll start with Boa Ma in life. Next, we'll need a noun. A Kekke Miazwa difficulties. Excellent. Boa Ma a Kekke Miazwa Jonya Bime despite facing difficulties. Now remember, we need to leave the verb to the end, so let's put our pronoun Jamaru, great, or Janoru for a male speaker. Let's go for the home run. Despite facing difficulties in life, we can still obtain happiness, we can still have joy. 
Your turn. Let's hear you say it. Fantastic! That was the most epic Myanmar grammar lesson. So if you're still here, it means at least two things. Number one, you're a trooper and you deserve a big shiny gold star. And number two, you're a sucker for a challenge. So I have one for you. Give us your best translation of this sentence in the comments section below. I'm looking forward to seeing what you think. I hope this Myanmar grammar lesson has made despite and in spite of and although a little bit clearer and more usable for you. It's been great having you along. Well done again on your great efforts to learn Burmese. Keep it up. See you in the next video. Bye.